To find an inverse function, there are a few steps we take. First, we switch the x and the y. Then solve for y. And it's important to also note that f of x is technically like the y. In example one, we have f of x is equal to negative three over x minus one minus two. This h of x is basically like f of x. It has the same form, so we're gonna say h of x is like y and it's equal to negative three over x minus one minus two. We're going to switch the x and the y. So now we have x is equal to negative three over y minus one minus two. Then we solve for y. So I'm going to multiply both sides of my equation by y minus one. But first, I need to add two to both sides. This will give me x plus two is equal to negative three over y minus one. Multiplying both sides of my equation by y minus one, I'm going to get y minus one times x plus two is equal to negative three. Now that I have y minus one and x plus two as my two binomial factors, I can divide both sides by x plus two to get y minus one equal to negative three over x plus two. Notice, however, that I should not foil this. That's a common mistake that's made because then you'll end up with more than one y term and then you'll have to mess with that even more. Just leave it in the factored form and divide out the binomial that has the term in it that you don't want. Now that I have y by itself on one side of my equation, I can add one to both sides and I get y is equal to negative three over x plus two plus one. We can then from there say that this is h inverse of x because we swapped x and y at the very beginning. Let's look at example two. We need to find the inverse of g of x. So I'm going to rewrite g of x as y is equal to five cubed root of x minus six plus four. Now I'm going to swap my x and y. So now I get x is equal to five cube root of y minus six plus four. From here, I need to solve for y or isolate y. I can do this first by subtracting four from both sides. So I get x minus four is equal to five cube root of y minus six. And then I can divide both sides by five. This gives me x minus four over five is equal to 
the cube root of y minus 6. If I cube both sides, or raise both sides of my equation to the third power, I can clear the root of the y minus 6, and I get x minus 4 over 5 to the third power is equal to y minus 6. Now, if I add 6 to both sides, that will give me x minus 4 over 5 raised to the third power plus 6 is equal to y. Remi it's a good reminder to think about what y actually is. It's what we swapped with x, and so it, this is technically the inverse function. So g inverse of x is equal to x minus 4 over 5 raised to the third power plus 6.